What's up YouTube, this is Ilya from UltimateSapien.com and this is day two of my polyphasic sleep challenge. As you can see, I'm a little bit tired if you can't tell. Um, the first day was a bit painful. Um, it's been, currently it is 9.45 p.m. on the second day and I took my first nap yesterday at um, about 10 p.m. And since then, I've only gotten sleep in like 20, 25, probably 25 minute periods. So I have some things written down here. I'm actually keeping track of it in this little notebook right here. Let me see. Like these are all of my notes about my sleep. Um, but basically, I have... Where did I actually put it? I just... Oh, there it is. Uh, basically, I've tried sleeping for 15 times. So I've tried to do I've had 15 attempts to sleep so far which means that it's 15 times about 20 or 25 so about uh, between 300 to like 350 minutes of attempted sleep which is about what six hours that's like five five hours five hour five and a half hours not too bad but I've only slept for seven of about seven of those I'm not sure about two of them I know I've definitely slept for five of them, and then the other two were kind of really iffy. I'm not sure. Like sometimes you know when you're half awake, half asleep, and you're not really sure, but then you hear an alarm ring, and it's as if you're waking up. That's what that was for me. Um, so right now I'm running on about 140 minutes of sleep, and I've had a little bit of a slip up. I'd say I today after 12 I took a nap, a 20 minute nap. And right after the alarm was ringing, I was like, okay, well, why should why not just take another 20 minute nap? So I did that. I felt great. I did not have any people say that you have like um, like brain fog or you have like issues if you sleep for longer than 25 or to 28 minutes. I did not have that after those two naps, which I'm happy about. But I'm not sure if I can if I can keep doing that again. And also last night I got pretty much almost zero sleep, just null. Um, it's as if my body wanted me to become more sleep deprived so I could actually go on with this little test. Um, but yeah, I'm a little, as you can see, I'm a little less articulate right now. I'm definitely, definitely a little bit tired. Um, my last nap was two hours ago, about two hours ago, right around eight. I think I woke up at eight. I should have it right here. My last nap was from eight to about eight thirty. So. I set an alarm for about 30 minutes. Um, I set two timers and one alarm actually. I set an alarm for 30 minutes. I set a timer for 28 minutes and a timer for 30 minutes. So then that gives me about five minutes, like between five to eight minutes to go to sleep, 20 minutes of sleep, and then wake up time, which is great because you're supposed to sleep for 20 and if you, it takes me like 10 minutes to fall asleep that, and I still have a monitor set for 20, then I'm only sleeping for half the time I'm supposed to be sleeping, which isn't good. Um, Tomorrow is supposed to be a really tough day. Um, tonight will be tough. My head, side effects wise, my head hurts a little bit from time to time. My stomach was a little strange a couple, probably a couple hours ago this morning was a little strange, but now it's fine. So I'm going to assume that it's probably just my head might be a little weird and probably get way more sleepy tonight because um, it's just 10. So I don't know if I'm going to do my 10 o'clock nap. I might do it just because if I'm doing something tonight with my friends from like let's say 11 to 1 or something then I need to have a nap before that um, and I'm also considering increasing my break between naps because 25 minutes is it's tough I don't think it's gonna work that well it might but I think like 30 to 35 minutes is better so then it will end up being like 35 minutes of break and then 25 minutes of sleep so that's just an hour so then from let's say 12 to 7 I'll get seven of those which isn't bad I'll have to get two or three more during the day but I think that's doable um, I have a little, nice little setup where I just have earplugs and I connect them to here I kind of pull, pull the cord through my shirt and like I put them in my ears and then the alarm plays through the ears so if I like need to sleep somewhere else the alarm's not going to disturb anyone else which is quite nice um, last night was really tough um, I tried, I'm sleeping currently like on this little blanket here, or under that blanket, but not actually under my actual blanket, and I leave one of the lights on. I do put a face mask on, but I leave the light on just so like, when I wake up I can take the face mask off and there's the light that will wake me up. Um, 
And I use the headphones to block out a little bit of the sound, which is good because the dorm can be quite loud at times. Um, but yeah, yesterday I tried with AC, with no AC, different headphones, sleep mask, no sleep mask, uh, lights on, lights off. I've tried a lot of things and last night I just could not fall asleep. So I'm hoping that this night will be different because now I'm definitely more tired. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't really... I definitely feel that my mental capacity is a little bit slower and tonight I just laughed at some things that made no sense. But compared to people who I know had about three hours of sleep or four hours of sleep per night, maybe five hours of sleep per night for the past week, I seem to be functioning better than them as of right now. After tonight, I'm not sure. I've heard after reading Rasmus's uh, forum, uh, he said that... Um, he said that it t took him, like, if you start, Friday is a g great time to start because, well, I did it Thursday to Friday because, like, Friday you can start, then, like, if you fuck up the night before, um, from the night from Friday to Saturday, you still have, like, the whole Saturday to sleep, and Saturday to Sunday you can sort of correct that, and then Sunday to, you can correct that on Sunday, and then Sunday to Monday you should be a little bit better because it's already past the third day, so. I did Thursday, Friday, end of my first days on Friday. And on my second day will be Saturday, and on my third day will be Sunday. So after Sunday, I should hopefully be somewhat functioning. I'd say that I'm about 60% or maybe 60-70% of my normal monophasic self. I can still focus, I can still accomplish things, it's just slower and it's just not as effective at all. It's just, it's somewhat sad, honestly. Um, but I can still focus, I can still do work. And since I have more time to do this the same amount of work, it somewhat evens out at this point. So like, if I had this much work before, and I had this much time to do it, I could accomplish it in that time. And now I have the same amount of work, but now I have this much time to do it, and I can still accomplish it, but still in this amount of time because I'm working slower. But if I do get over that three day, seven day, three week hump, and that gets better, and I actually work at the same capacity as I did before, then I will have an extra probably three to four to five hours per day to do whatever, which is absolutely great. A couple issues though, I do have a lot of homework due Monday and Tuesday, so um, I'm just going to be working on that between naps, I'm going to be working on some of my business stuff, but I have a, a five page, three to five page essay due, I have to decipher an Egyptian text, I have some programming things to do, I have to do some business things, and I have like a bunch of college related stuff so this should be interesting I'm still not too bad right now I think that this will you know I think that if this works it will definitely be worth it and I think I'm not to the point of where I would yet last night I sort of started considering giving up after I couldn't fall asleep after like three naps but then I was like why give up now why not just go through with it so that's what I did um today I haven't thought about giving up at all um, and even naps where I don't fall asleep, but I just lay in bed and like half light sleep, I still feel more rested after them. I still feel like I can, if I'm like really tired and I take a nap, but I don't fall asleep, I still feel more rested and I still can go for an hour, an hour and a half on that nap, which is good. Like actually functioning at, let's say 90 or 85% of my normal self. Um, but the farther away from a nap I am, the, like, it just goes down, 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 down. So like, this is me, like right, up, like right after a nap, I'm right down here. I'm probably at about 40% or 30% of my monophasic self. And that lasts for 10 minutes. And then it goes up, up, up to like 90%, right, right here. And then it stays there for, let's say, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how tired I am. And then it just slowly goes down. So we'll see how this goes. It should be quite interesting. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything to say. There will be a blog post about this if, you know, you know, you don't like, listening to me blab on for like it's 10 minutes already um but i'll be doing blog posts i'll be doing videos so just pick whichever one you like or watch both you know why not um and there'll be a little bit of different information in both of them but yeah that's pretty much it for day two or day <laughs> day two i wish for day one day two starting and well technically it's starting for me in five minutes if i take my nap and if not it'll start in two hours but yeah, I will continue posting these and just see what, you know, what happens. So, subscribe to my channel, please. No, either way, you know, whatever. You don't have to subscribe, but if you do, you'll get some cool stuff like videos like this in your inbox. Possibly.
I don't know how YouTube works at this point. And you will get to, you know, see my beautiful face almost every day because I'll be posting these videos every day. So if you want me in your inbox every day, subscribe.